Was Albert Einstein right when he predicted that we might never see the edge of the universe? The Webb telescope has now detected a void in the extremely early universe that could potentially confirm this prediction. But what exactly are we observing? Is this truly a void, or could it mark the very beginning of the universe itself? Scientists may have uncovered something astonishing. A mysterious void at the dawn of time, possibly validating one of Einstein's remarkable predictions. Imagine, over 100 years ago, when astronomers began to peer beyond the edges of the Milky Way, what they saw amazed them. First hazy nebulae, then the realization that these were entire galaxies. The small and large Magellanic clouds came into view, followed by the Andromeda galaxy. Eventually, they were stunned by the sheer number of galaxies in the universe. These revelations led to groundbreaking ideas, such as the evolution of galaxies and the concept of an infinite universe. Later, Edwin Hubble's observations showed that distant galaxies were moving away from us, reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. The idea of the universe's expansion was born soon after, and it wasn't long before Belgian physicist Georges Lemaitre proposed the Big Bang Theory. This occurred shortly after Albert Einstein introduced his theories of relativity. Many of the theoretical predictions made by researchers in the 1910s and 1920s were confirmed by these new discoveries. However, throughout his life, Einstein remained uncertain about whether the universe truly had a beginning and an end, even though he fundamentally accepted the Big Bang Theory. Despite his uncertainty on that front, Einstein was confident about one intriguing question. Whether the universe had a beginning or an end, he was certain we would never be able to see it, no matter how advanced our telescopes might become. But how did Einstein come up with this bold idea? And what does it have to do with the void recently discovered by the James Webb Telescope? Einstein's profound insights continue to resonate in the study of the cosmos. Einstein's profound prediction remains one of his most impactful. As one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century, Einstein made numerous predictions that continue to shape modern science. One of his most remarkable insights was the idea that we would never be able to directly observe the very beginning of the universe. Einstein offered two compelling reasons for this. First, according to the Big Bang Theory and related ideas, there was no light for hundreds of thousands of years immediately after the Big Bang, a period now referred to by scientists as the Dark Ages. How could we possibly observe an event with telescopes if there was no light to detect? Today, there are some intriguing approaches to this challenge, such as using radio telescopes. Unlike optical telescopes that see, radio telescopes hear waves. Interestingly, scientists believe the Big Bang wasn't a loud, explosive event, but occurred in complete silence. In fact, the space in which an audible explosion could have happened didn't even exist until after the Big Bang. Space itself was created as a result of the event. Radio telescopes detect waves that are far beyond the range of human hearing, and space itself barely transmits sound. Only a few waves pass through the interstellar medium, and modern technology can convert them into sounds we can hear. Still, even with these advancements, we wouldn't be able to hear the likely silent beginning of the universe. In the 1960s, we discovered cosmic background radiation, which has since been thoroughly mapped. This radiation is considered a remnant of the Big Bang, and much of the evidence supporting the Big Bang theory comes from it. However, the microwave background radiation has never provided direct evidence of the Big Bang itself. This suggests that even here, we have no direct way to detect or prove the absolute beginning of the universe. Einstein had another reason for believing we could never see the beginning or the edge of the universe. He theorized that, Due to the universe's expansion, the beginning would continually move further away from us, making it forever beyond our reach. He also believed in the possibility of a curvature in space, meaning that the starting point of the universe could be hidden behind a sort of cosmic horizon, permanently obscuring our view. Keep in mind, this was at a time when the best telescopes could only provide blurry images of nearby galaxies. Today, we know of millions of galaxies in an ever-expanding universe, and despite the vast distances between galaxies and clusters, we can now see 13.6 billion years into the past with our telescopes, 
bringing us remarkably close to the time of the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope has brought us even closer, though it doesn't show us what scientists 100 years ago called the Big Bang, a mysterious void. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, discovered a strange and puzzling void. While you may have heard that JWST has found a vast number of ancient galaxies, challenging our understanding of the Big Bang, did you know that it also uncovered a void that could support one of Albert Einstein's predictions, the impossibility of observing the universe's absolute beginning? These cosmic voids are empty regions of space so vast and devoid of matter that they seem to contradict the theory of relativity. So, how can they possibly align with Einstein's ideas about the invisibility of the universe's beginning? Initially, this was explained as a sign of the Dark Ages, a period in which the universe was mostly empty, without stars or galaxies. Some researchers thought this discovery confirmed the existence of this dark era. However, the surprise came when this darkness was revealed to be a distant, mysterious void. Closer, more recent voids are already challenging for scientists to explain, but in the early universe, voids are considered scientific impossibilities. They don't fit with the idea of a homogeneous universe, which is central to the Big Bang Theory and the concept of cosmic expansion. These voids are too large, too unusual, and their inhomogeneous nature contradicts core principles of cosmology. While this void may not directly confirm Einstein's prediction, the JWST seems to support his insights in a different way. So far, it has found no evidence of the universe's beginning or its early stages. The images of what we believe to be the early universe show galaxies and structures remarkably similar to those we observe in closer, more familiar parts of space. Could it be that such a void marks the true beginning of the universe? The intriguing question now arises. Could a mysterious void have been the origin of the universe? While we can't completely rule this out, the truth is, we still don't fully understand what voids truly are. Similarly, we also have to admit that we don't know exactly how the universe began. Voids are generally thought to be empty, but we can't be certain. They may contain some unknown form of matter. Imagine, for instance, dark galaxies hidden within them. In fact, some interpretations suggest that voids could be parallel worlds, while others view them as scar tissue from collisions between universes in the multiverse. There are even more unconventional theories, such as the idea that advanced alien civilizations may be darkening galaxies within a void to harvest energy. As you can see... These mysterious voids continue to puzzle scientists and inspire some of the most imaginative ideas. It's possible that our universe emerged from a vast void. The fact that we cannot definitively disprove this idea only adds weight to the possibility. This leaves us with the lingering question, how was matter created in the first place? What are singularities? What exactly are singularities? We've already touched on the concept of the nothingness from which the universe is said to have emerged. If this was the absolute starting point, how could we observe it? After all, it was nothing, therefore undetectable. A singularity is a point where all forces become so condensed that our usual measures of size and value no longer apply, or where everything in existence is concentrated into a single point. This point is believed to have been a fluctuation of possibilities, existing in a state of perfect equilibrium. At some unknown moment, this balance was disrupted, sparking the beginning of creation. From this minuscule point, everything we know and observe today emerged, every star, planet, and life form. Essentially, all the information that defines you, me, and everything in the universe was once contained within this tiny dot of nothing. The mystery of how such an infinitesimally small point could hold the potential for everything remains one of the greatest puzzles in science, and it is uncertain if we will ever fully understand it. Singularities are also found in another mysterious part of the universe, at the center of black holes. These black holes, in turn, are located at the heart of nearly every known galaxy. They are believed to be the remnants of massive stars that have exploded. However, no one has ever ventured into the center of a black hole, and as we've discussed, our ability to observe the absolute beginning of the universe, if it existed at all, 
is extremely limited. Everything we know about singularities and black holes is based on calculations that have held up until the James Webb Telescope revealed unexpected findings. Its observations suggest that the universe may be much older than previously thought, or its fundamental nature could be different from what our current theories predict. Black holes remain one of cosmology's greatest enigmas. They are incredibly massive, with forces inside them likely increasing to infinity, making it nearly impossible to explore these singularities using conventional methods. The hope now lies in new supercomputers, which may one day unravel the mysteries of the universe through advanced computations. Scientists are also turning to quantum intelligence, considered by some to be the universal information system of the visible cosmos, and even experimenting with new chip technologies that use the storage capacity of water to boost computational power. Click subscribe to stay updated with more fascinating insights.